On the desktop screen, open up the Corel Draw file, Mother's Day 2021. On the left side, you'll see different Mother's Day quotes. Choose the one that best fits your mother. Single left click on the quote, click hold and drag the quote on the laser engraving platform. Highlight, select delete, delete the rest of the quotes. The file, save as, and make sure it's saved just for you. Just to leave the original file for others to use. There's a ruler on the top and on the left. We need to drag guidelines down. My board is 5 inches by 14. Click hold on the ruler, drop it on zero, and a Y field opens up. The position of that line, I'm going to select negative 5 and select enter. And you'll see the guideline drops down, negative 5 inches. Left click on the left ruler, drag to zero, drop the line, clear out X, and in my case, I'm going to type in 14. Enter. This is my engravable area. Single left click on your quote and drag it into your board. Left click on the blank screen, then that command. I'm going to bring an image in here. My predetermined image is on the desktop. I'm going to minimize crawl draw. Double click on my image. Right mouse, copy, bring up Corel Draw, right mouse, left click on paste. You can see the image is too large for my area. To keep it in proportion, I need to hold, click hold, and drag my corner black blocks to have it fit in the area. Zoom up with the wheel so you can see what you're doing. While this is selected, I'm going to go to the bitmap pull down, go to creative, go to vignette, left click on vignette, and I'm going to drag this out and you, you can see the edges are now faded and it doesn't give such a sharp image. Now you can choose between a white fade, a black fade. You can also choose different shapes in the form of an ellipse, circle, rectangle, or square. Since my image was originally a rectangle, I'm going to select rectangle. The offset and fade you can adjust also. Dragging it down gives less of an image for offset, and dragging it up gives more. I'm going to stay with 100. The fade, same thing. If I drag up, you can see that more of my edges are shown. If I drag down, you can see that it still shows up the edges, but it's a lot more clear in the center. However, with our laser engraver and being on the material, we want as least amount of dark as possible. So I'm going to stay with 75. You can always preview. I'm going to select OK. We also want to change the effects. I'm going to select effects and the first one adjusts. And we want to change the brightness, contrast, and intensity of the picture. You can see right now with the preset forms, my picture disappears. Brightness, I'm going to change to 10. Contrast, I'm going to change to a negative 20. And the intensity, I'm going to change to 10, just to see what the picture will do. The light of the picture, the more engraving will show up. I'm going to change the brightness, 15. Contrast to negative 10. 
the intensity. I'm going to keep at zero. So this is how my image will show up. Not obviously in color, but the laser will recognize all the darkness and continue through the path and leave a lot of the white and lighter colors as just a fade. And I'm going to select OK. So this is my board. I'm going to select my corner corner since I do have a fade and I'm going to go a little bit larger. Use up my area. I like my font and don't worry about the border it will not show up. It's just a position. After you're complete with positioning and adjusting your image, select File, Save As, and save it as your Mother's Day 2021 project and your name. Save. Select File and Print. Select Print. Do not make any adjustments to this window. Minimize your Corel Draw and open up the UCP or Universal Control Panel. And you can see here is your image with your quote that will be on your board in the upper left corner of the zero, 00. The imagery, once it's engraved on the board, will look much better than this. This is just a representation on the position. Go into Settings. We want to select in wood, the hardwoods, maple. Our thickness is irrelevant as we're not cutting through the piece. We're going to select Apply and OK. We're going to select the power button to the actual engraver. Select Play. 